All right, so this is what I've been outdoors today. Look at all those leaves. And you can just look at that. Oh, with leaf matter problems. Uh, so what I've been doing is out getting ready for the spring. So we're kind of beautifying this tree. And I'll come in a little bit closer to show you the damage. All right, you can just look through. This is like mostly all of my new growth. So what happens is I didn't spray anything on this tree last year. And the leaf miner actually just... They love those newer leaves. See how they don't really affect the older leaves? So if you can keep your tree sprayed till those leaves get a little bit harder, they don't really like those. They like to get right on the tips at these newer leaves. So what I've been doing... And you want to, you're going to want to get rid of, actually the function of the leaf isn't what it's supposed to be anyway. Um, once they get in it, they disrupt the actual process of what you got going on with the photosynthesis. So what I do is they're going to grow more leaves back, but you don't want all these leaves like steady sucking energy, sucking energy. So what I've been doing is if you look over here, just wherever the problem is, I'm not taking the whole branch off. I'm just taking off down down the stem to wherever the problem stops. You see that? So down the stem, wherever the problem stops. Mostly it's, it's going to be your tips. So all of these will be bare. And then I'll try to pick up a spraying regiment this year. I got a lot more trees now, so I'm going to invest a little bit more in some sprays. Uh, I might try to BT this year, but I know I want to try the neem oil and more citrus oil, but more neem oil than citrus oil on the citrus trees because the citrus trees already have citrus oil in them and that's not going to work on a citrus tree. So I'm going to put something opposite. I'm going to go with the neem oil, maybe even try some garlic oil or something like that. So stay tuned. I'm not going to show you cutting. Or all of these I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it because I can't do it with one hand because I want to be able to get all of these in that bucket I don't want to lose any uh, to the ground so this is like stopping that process I don't know if they go from leaf to leaf to leaf to leaf so how do you stop the process is by taking them completely off these are not compostable don't put this in your compost you'll be putting millions of leaf miners in your compost these are trash only trash only or burn only if you can burn them, burn them. Uh, but more so, I put them in a bag, throw them in the trash. But if I do have a fire going, then I would just burn them. So this is what I do. Come in. Let me get you a little bit better. I'm going to pick those up. Usually, if I had two hands available, I would be holding on to the other side. As I cut it, I would keep this in my hand to make sure I don't lose them. So basically, you just come in. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> And basically, I'm just going to cut them down. Same thing here. I got the same thing. So, I'm not going to... That's how I would do it. I don't want them on the ground like this. So, I'm going to pick them up. But you can see how they're, they're just destroying the leaves. So, I got one more that I dropped somewhere. And now I don't see it. And that's not what I'm looking for trying to do which is why i'm going to do it with two hands because it's all green and once it drops on the ground i can't find them even though i know they're somewhere right there you probably seeing it i'll probably have to go back in this video to see exactly where it dropped but anyway you would take that and that goes with the rest of their friends so i'll probably come back as soon as I'm finished the whole tree. So you can see how the tree's looking now. Real shabby. Also it's looking this shabby because it's coming through the winter. So through the winter my citrus trees usually take a little beating. Um, but they're young and they'll bounce back. So let me go ahead on and finish the whole tree. Then I'll be right back. Alright so this is actually how it looks finished. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a little closer look, closer inspection. So you can see I actually have got mostly all of them. If it's some that I didn't see, then I'll get them as I see them. But now what we have is kind of like bare sticks. I don't know if I'm gonna lose all this growth. 
I'm hoping that some uh, leaves, some of them didn't look, I mean, they went down this far, so I just cut it off. But hopefully I get some more uh, growth coming out of these leaves. That's what I'm hoping for. You can see here is something different that I really didn't see the last time. Excuse the shadow, but you can see how infested. I mean, these leaves serve no purpose being on the tree or off. The reason why I think it's best to take them off is because this is something that I never really saw. And I'm gonna show you. The leaf miner seems that they started getting on my new wood. You can see that. Hopefully you can see that. But it started getting on my new wood. So I took that branch off. This was a look at this. This was a nice healthy branch. If I had some to graft on it, I probably wouldn't. Maybe those top pieces. Uh, but you can see it was getting down here on this one. So I didn't want it to actually infect the tree and go into the tree. So I took those two little piece of branches off that I saw that on as well. So now what I need to do is get some kind of regiment going. Look at that. I didn't even see those. Didn't see those because they wasn't curled. So they're in more leaves than what I've actually taken off. But I don't want to like take all the leaves off the tree um you're probably wondering you're probably asking yourself is this really gonna kill the tree uh by taking all these leaves off and the answer to me i'm gonna start off saying no get a couple more of those and that's because i've had trees that has dropped lots of leaves so i'm gonna show you this tree right here this is a lime tree kept it in a pot too long but you can see all those leaves that it's dropped and look it's starting to flower you can see that let me help you see it <laughs> you can see that and also got some flowers coming out here as well so not really worried about taking that amount of leaves off the tree whether or not it's not going to make it it's going to push it back a little bit of course but once the spring comes and you hit it with a good fertilizer, um, a little bit of nitrogen, those leaves are gonna regrow anyway. So. All right, so this is just a follow-up. Um, I know I took a lot of leaves off of this tree, but if you come in close, you'll see now, it's just, it's gonna re-leaf itself. Uh, so don't worry about, you remember how crazy those leaves look? They were like destroyed. So um, this is just to give you a little follow-up if you're kind of worried and concerned especially with a small tree you're thinking i don't want to take that many leaves off really once those leaves get attacked and the leaf miner gets in them and they get curled up really bad and you get that infestation in there really that's the only way to get rid of them um those leaves really are to not affect at that point because they're not doing the job they're supposed to be doing because they're they're stressed out so you actually take a lot of the stress off the tree by actually taking all these leaves out and you'll see that it actually leaves out pretty good. We actually had a little bird that had a little nest up in there. I got stuck. But had a little nest up in there. I think they all had started. You can see one's coming right here though, look at that. So you, when you see them like that, take them off. Look at that, something's even up in there. Take that out of Let's there. See. Do it again. Something in there. Oh, I gotta do like this sometimes. Bro. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, so but you can see a little worm is up in there, and all it's gonna do is destroy and, and infest the whole tree. So, when you can grab them, I got a little lazy on the last one, but as you can see now, it's looking a little bit better. I haven't really even sprayed it, 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 haven't, it hasn't really been attacked by anything this year so far. Um, so I'm just watching and monitoring. If I see something starting to get on it, I might put a little neem oil or like a spinosad, something like that, to kind of keep them at bay, keep the worms at bay, but you can look in. They've already, already got lemons back on them again. So. Uh, they have a lot, they all over. Yeah, got look. a good bit of lemon production this year. So look this, at this tree wow. is actually, and it's getting thicker. You can look down there at that, at that base. 
And then the, uh, you can see how thick that base is getting. So a healthy tree came through the little polar vortex. Yes. Came through the worst of it. We're actually doing a little air layer as well. I mean, you can look up in there and see that. Probably need to, probably a little dry. So I need dry, to water, yeah. water those air layers. And we're gonna get two new trees off of this existing tree. So don't let your trees just die out. Don't let these pests come and kind of discourage you while you give up on the tree. Pull all those leaves off, sit back, let the tree do its thing. Once all those leaves are off, that tree is like, whew, man, I was, it was trying to kill me. And then after that, Bam, you're back in business. So it's going to continue to put on size and you just got to protect it through the winter. So uh, thank y'all for watching the update on this or the whole video because I'm going to put it as a two-parter. Um, so thank y'all for watching our video. And as always, see you on the next one. And grow, grow, grow. Peace.